This is a simple ballistics test for the Winchester Ranger T-Series 9mm Plus P Plus 127 grain jacked at hollow point using the SimTest Media calibrated to ballistic gel specs plus four layers of denim. Test gun is the Glock 19. This is chapter three of testing this particular ammo. In August of 2009, I tested with just wet pack. December of 2010, wet pack, but I added the four layers of denim. Also included a water jug test there. In all three of those tests, so far we have had very consistent penetration and expansion. So hoping to continue that trend today with the sim test calibrated to ballistic gel specs. Again using the Glock 19 4 inch barrel. This is a very hot load compared to your standard 9 millimeter loads plus P's are coming in about 10 percent higher in pressure or PSI. This one plus P plus is approximately 17 percent higher than your standard loads but I find it controllable in the compact Glock and that's even shooting uh, double taps and triple taps. You'll see my five shot average here in just a moment compared to the advertised velocity and then we'll take the shot and have the evaluation. There are a lot of things I want to say right now, but I'll just put that in an annotation. Uh, you see the shot placement there. Not a good sign. You can hear that leakage because this passed all the way through the block, which is approximately 20 inches. And it is residing there in the bottom of jug number one. Let's take a look at it. There's the bullet passed through 20 inches of the media that was calibrated exactly where it needs to be. And the four layers of denim. The denim, by the way, I think was the culprit here landed in jug number one. By the way, this did not keyhole or tumble. It was a very small exit wound in the block and then just a bullet diameter hole in the jug. So it was plowing straight forward. I think it was trying to get up to Kentucky, but it wasn't going to make it there today. So we're getting back into focus here. Let me quickly say something about the four layers of denim because I get this question on every ammo testing video. Why do you use four layers of denim? Why do you not use a cotton t-shirt or a hoodie or a leather jacket that has a logo of my favorite pro sports franchise. I mean, those are the kinds of questions I'm getting with this. If you'll go online and search for IWBA, that is International Wound Ballistics Association, this is their standard, four layers of denim, and my thread count is very similar to what they use as well. So I strive to be as close to professional testing as I can, even though I'm clearly an amateur. Also, the FBI has their own standard, so that's why I do it and just wanted to get that out of the way because I have a feeling that's why this bullet failed. Okay, quickly a look at two tracks. This is the upper track here that I cut. We're about six or seven inches in and I just wanted to show you that we still had a devastating track in spite of the lack of expansion. That's about a half inch deep and then I lost the track here but down here on this side of it, as is the case, we typically see denim being pulled in to the path for the first inch or two. Notice also we have a very devastating stretch cavity here, again without expansion. That's just the raw energy that's in that bullet. Still moving forward, notice we still have denim. So it really, with that high energy, pulled that denim far in all the way to about the 11 inch mark. So although we had a very devastating cavity, that's impressive, the bullet was still a failure due to lack of expansion. 127 gray bullet and retained weight is 125.2. The Winchester T-Series 127 grain plus P plus is a standard in the wide spectrum of premium defensive loads for 9mm, so I'm obviously disappointed by the results today. In the previous test in 2009 and 2010 with wet pack, we did have pretty good penetration and expansion without over penetration. So again, I think today the issue was the denim, but people got to wear clothes. Thanks for watching.